Guys, welcome back to the Cows channel for Cows Opinion because Ubisoft has given more insight into the delay of Assassin's Creed and how Star Wars paid a part in this. This is a Cows Opinion catchphrase. We don't need one. I don't need one. We're just here talking about the latest and greatest. And if you don't like it, it's okay because it's a moo point, baby. I'm a little fired up. I had a good dinner after a long day at work. And I opened my news feed and Ubisoft is talking about the delay to Assassin's Creed Shadows, because whether you agree with the direction of the game or not, a delay is a pretty significant thing, so I want to check it out. Now, if you don't follow stocks and corporations like uh, hedge funds and financiers do, it's that time of the quarter this season where companies are reporting their, you know, how they did the last three months, and they're doing earnings calls, and Ubisoft had their earnings call. So today, the studio actually got asked about Assassin's Creed delay, and if it might be delayed again next year, which is a very valid question. The stock is down huge. They're not getting a lot of good publicity. They're not releasing games that are really catching on. So, you know, the investors are very, very nervous, and they want to know. This isn't like the olden days where people, oh, video games are so cute. This is a multi-billion dollar business, and business Better be good, or else the market can crush your company. So it came up. So the chief corporate finance officer, and I apologize because I should have done this, Mike Straw, who you at Insider Gaming, typed this up. So C chief corporate finance officer, CCFO, usually it's just CFO, but whatever. Frederick Dugut, Dugat, du, I don't, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce French names. Reiterated, the game was a complete feature. So every, the game is playable, and you can go from beginning to end, and it's good. But they wanted to add more polish to the game. We want to make sure that the delivery of the experience is impeccable on day one. So that was the purpose of the decision. So we have good visibility for the game to be delivered with a great experience by mid-February, and with great quality. He also said again, that the company is confident in this. The February release with great experience and great quality. Now, if you have followed the Assassin's Creed here on the channel or on Insider Gaming or elsewhere on the YouTubes or the Twitches or the Twitters or wherever you like to get your gaming news, you know that uh, the quality was questionable at the time of when it was supposed to be released. They pulled any press copies going out one to two weeks before the game releases because... That's usually a bad sign. You want to give the game with enough time for people to maybe not get all of the trophies, but at least play through the game, give thoughts on the story, the graphics, the presentation, the controls, all the good stuff that you want to hear. And they pulled the game from it because obviously they didn't want the press to see this build. We'd also seen video of just like really weird graphical glitches that were constantly happening, kind of like what... We saw day one on Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, just uh, I saw the female playable main character was killing a guy with a sword, which is cool. That's Assassin's Creed. Only she started meleeing him from 10 feet away. And he was reacting like he was getting hit. But there's like 10 feet of space between them. And it was confusing people. And I saw one YouTuber who I can't remember. But he was openly speculating... Uh, I don't understand. This is the kind of footage you release to show your game in the best light. How the hell is this the best light you have? So there were some concerns on the quality. And the finance officer also said that the response to outlaws was a big factor in this delay. On the back of what we saw with Star Wars Outlaws, we need to really make sure that we come with an impeccable player experience on Day one. Too many times, I think we all can agree, game companies will we'll patch it in a day or two. It's fine. You gotta be ready to go. Of course, there are always some bugs, but we've been focusing, and we're continuing to focus on, making sure that day one experience will be well optimized. Notice what he is saying. Notice the quotes that Ubisoft was pushing through on this earnings call. Day one, quality experience, good. It's a very basic message, but it's a very important message, especially when so many gamers are not trusting Ubisoft and other AAA developers to give that premium day one experience. I mean, we were playing on the channel Space Marine 2, and yeah, it's a shorter game. It doesn't matter. It's awesome. Online mode is fun. 
It's a really fantastic game. And from day one, it was a complete game. There was no real... I don't think I even hit any bugs or glitches in that game, man. I don't think at all. I think we had everything just running fine. Didn't freeze. Frame rate didn't drop. Uh, I wasn't, like, shooting near somebody and they died because uh, the hitbox was wrong. It played very well. I never really thought that the controls were, or the graphics or anything was bad. That's not what happened, unfortunately, with Outlaws. And I'm not trying to take the Outlaws team to the shed and beat them with a switch or anything like that, guys. I'm just saying, I was surprised the difficulty balance was not optimized for the average player. It was very hard on the stealth sections, which were punishing and unforgiving. There were a lot of glitches. There was way too much T-posing. There was way too much, like, moonwalking. There was, there was some really terrible things that were allowed to release in this game. Because I guess they're like, well, we can fix it in a patch really quick. Now, Outlaws released on August 30th and has struggled to reach 1 million copies. Let's look at that. Yeah. As of a month later, has sold just 1 million copies in the month it launched. And that's not good for a AAA game that they put so much time and money into. And remember, Outlaws is not like Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft does not own Star Wars, which means a portion of every profit, dollar of profit, portion of those profits don't go into Ubisoft, they go into Big Daddy Disney's wallet. So if you're not selling a lot of games, you're making even less money because the profit pool is smaller. That's not good. So yeah, Star Wars, as we know, has struggled a lot, and it's unfortunate. I, again... I want awesome Star Wars. I think we all want awesome Assassin's Creed, but it's not what they've been giving us, and I understand why people are upset and concerned. Now, here's the part that we didn't know, but did get confirmed during the earnings call, and this is really important. The price for delaying Assassin's Creed Shadows is that Ubi said that it has added roughly $21.7 million to the development costs. Now, you've already spent hundreds of millions but you're still dropping another 20 plus million to pay the development team to quality control and bug test and recode and program and clean everything up from uh, October, November, December, and January so the game can release in February. You're adding another five-ish months to development, and yeah, that's going to cost money. The game also announced in September it was abandoning the traditional season pass model for the game. Now, I think we can all agree that season passes for paid games are not player-friendly and stupid. But the reason why this is concerning to me is that that season pass makes a lot of money. We all complain that the, that the game is like 60 to 70 bucks, And then you have to, to the, get the, all the stuff, you got to spend $100. But guess what? I've seen this on Pirate Software, a really fantastic YouTuber who... He's not, he doesn't advocate game piracy, but he's... Really intelligent, former Blizzard developer, his own indie game developer, and he's really good at explaining things simply, more than I can. And he was pointing out that, uh, you know why they keep doing it? Because the $100 plus model sells more copies than the $70 model. And it does. The season pass makes a ton of money. We all say we hate it, but then way too many of us buy it because of FOMO or just because we love the series so much and or actually want the stuff in the season pass. And because of that, they keep making them. Look, when Super Robot Wars 30 came out, hell yes, I went for the most expensive. I love Super Robot Wars, and you were giving me the official soundtrack for more money. You were giving me extra cash and uh, pilot points and ship points for, more, for money as bonuses when I spent all this stuff. You were giving me DLC. Yes, I spent more money. I, I, bought, I could have bought uh, SRW30 for like 60 to 70 bucks. I spent over 100. Day one. I'm part of the problem. I'm not here. I'm telling you, we know it's player for unfriendly. And I'm part of the problem. Because we love these games so much. And they're like, yeah, I'd like that. I'll, I'll take it. So, this is just a little smaller update for you guys. Like I said, I want to keep track of Ubisoft. It's in a really precarious, interesting place right now. I don't want Ubisoft to fail. I don't want a bunch of developers in Europe to go away. I know that there's been rumors that Tencent is thinking of helping take the company private. The problem with that is that I severely doubt the European Union is going to allow it. I don't care what the CEO and his family, what deal they make. They're not going to let a Chinese company own 
a European technology company like Ubisoft. It's never going to fly. So that's not going to happen. Could I would, It would be really hard for anyone in America or Japan to buy them. So Ubisoft is either going to start winning or they may just fail and break up and I, I don't know. But I don't want more developers to lose their jobs. I don't want them to produce bad stuff. I want them to just freaking... I don't want... It's been said best this way. Who Nobody wants to play a game that looks like it was a checklist by a bunch of corporate suits and accountants at the C-suite level. You want to play a game made by game developers. That's what Blizzard did up until they got bought by Activision. And then he noticed the quality started dropping. It's happening to Ubisoft. These... These hedge funds and these lawyers and these accountants and all these MBAs thought that you could game the system. And now they're starting to get, you know, handed to them by indie developers, by regular A developers, and just by, uh, you know, by other stuff. The Space Marine 2 guys have been poking fun at uh, the stupidity of these choices. Uh, Baldur's Gate, we covered, was saying that Ubisoft needs to learn not that they may not have jobs if they think that players may not get to own games anymore. I think that there's a revolution in gaming coming, and I think it's going to be better. But I don't want a lot of people to lose their jobs. I want you to just join the tide, make good games. We are going to keep an eye on Assassin's Creed Shadows, and we will see how it plays, how it sells, how it does. And I want you guys down below to tell me if you were disappointed that Assassin's Creed got delayed, or... Were you happy it got delayed because you saw what little they had already shown and you're like, that's not good. We want good Assassin's Creed. You deserve good Assassin's Creed. And you, know, so you, you, deserve, you deserve to play more games. Games are awesome. It's my hope that Ubisoft makes this delayed Assassin's Creed awesome. And you deserve awesome. And I'll see you next time. I have no idea if the game is going to be good or not. But man... It's a story and we're going to follow it.